Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to another Morning Motivational on Obsessive Crochet Lady. I'm Amanda. Today you're looking at a shawl that I am working on. Are you guys ready for this? We're going to start out with our um, morning motivations. Then we'll go to the Bible verses and then the prayers. So here is the first one. It's called Warrior. Remind yourself of what you've been able to overcome. All the times you felt like you weren't going to make it through, you proved yourself wrong, you're more powerful than you think. Next one is called control. Let go of trying to control how other people perceive you. You are only in control of yourself. People will make up their mind about you regardless. Next one is called valuable. Don't allow the opinion of others to make you question who you are. Trust your inner knowing and build a foundation of self-assurance strong enough so no one can make you question your value. Next one is called bold. Never dim your light that makes or like to make others feel comfortable. People wouldn't do the same for you. Live out loud and embrace the fullness of who you are without an apology. The right people will support your growth and expansion. The next one is called change. Give yourself permission to say that something is no longer working for you. Just because you've stayed loyal to something in the past doesn't mean you have to continue that way. Admit that it no longer aligns with your current path and let it go. Last one is called life. Negative experiences will never stop happening to you. You just have to get to a point where you choose to not allow your circumstances to take the driver's seat. I like those. Note to self, you are enough. No one needs to believe in you but you. Create your own space. Seek connection, not validation. No amount of attention will be enough unless you validate and love yourself. If they don't see you they're not for you you deserve people who uplift and validate you never forget three types of people in your life one who helped you in difficult times two who left you in difficult times and three who put you in difficult times i like that this next one will be the last one to anybody reading this, or in your case listening, life might be painful right now, but remember, pain is temporary. Life might be confusing right now, but remember, it's worked out before. Anytime you've been worried in the past, it's now a memory. Don't stress, everything will be fine. You've got this focus. I like that. Okay, and on to the Bible verses for today. I know I said that funny because I'm a goof. So it's okay. Let's see. We will go with these ones. First Peter 5, 7. Throw all your anxiety onto him. Because he cares about you. Isaiah 46 4. He will sustain you. His will, his way, my faith. Jeremiah 29 11. Exodus 14 14. The Lord will fight for you. All you have to do is keep still. 
Walk by faith, not by sight. 2 Corinthians 5, 7 I am with you and will watch over you wherever you go. Genesis twenty eight fifteen. Everything is possible with God. Mark ten twenty seven. I can do all things through him who gives me strength. Philippians four thirteen. I am with you always. Matthew twenty eight twenty. And one more. <clears throat> For all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. Romans thirty Romans thirty. Romans three twenty three. <laughs> Tongue tied. Okay. Dear God, I cannot handle this day without you. Set my heart on your presence for the moment I arise. To the last blink of my eyes help me ignore the demands <clears throat> of my day until I've loaded your truth into my foundations of my soul in Jesus name amen God I want to be the person who stands firm and trusts wholeheartedly in you. I want to be unshakable and resilient, but that can only happen by depending on you and trusting you. Develop that deeper trust in me. God, I desperately need it and want to trust you more. Amen. God is saying to you today, rest in me. I am already at work in your life. I will turn around every bad situation in your life. I will bless you and your family, and I will heal what needs to be healed. Like that. Okay, this will be the last one. Dear God, I know that I am not perfect. I know sometimes I forget to pray. I know I have questioned my faith. I know sometimes I lose my temper. But thank you for loving me unconditional, unconditionally and giving me another day to start over again. <clears throat> Amen. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed that today. I know it's been a couple days, but um, I do apologize, but... I hope that was a good one for a comeback. So I will see you guys later today. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Don't forget one small act of kindness towards somebody can change their day. So be kind to one another. At least smile at somebody. And that's a simple act of kindness. Bye, guys.